This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how I use Evernote to manage my blog post content. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Since this question comes up a lot, I thought it would be useful to show an example of how I use Evernote and why, even though I've played around with lots of other project management tools, uh, for keeping track of things just sort of internally and for myself, you know, not tasks that have to do specifically with clients and things. For that, I am using Smartsheet. But when it just comes to keeping track of my own stuff and what I have to do, where it doesn't involve collaborating with anyone else per se, this is what I do. And as you can see, and I've done videos on my kind of daily notes process, which now you can see how I get it laid out. Every day when I get to my desk, I open up Evernote and I bring up the notes for today. You know, the process is I take yesterday's notes and copy it over into a new note. I remove all the things that got completed. And then I'll go through and I have, as you can see, my different sections, things I want to do daily. And, uh, over here I've got the today stuff and as I was getting ready this morning to get my uh, BQE software post ready I can actually now check this off that that part is completed um, I it occurred to me that it would be useful to show you kind of what the workflow looks like because this is how easy it is based on how I've got things set up in Evernote what I'll do is I'll actually uh, click over here nope I didn't want to do that um, I'll sometimes go into my list view. I switch a lot between the list view and the snippet view. As you can see in the snippet view, um, oops, and it keeps moving on me. Um, I've got anything that I've established as a reminder, and that simply means that up here I've clicked reminder, right? And what I usually actually do with today's note is I set it with a reminder for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to want to update this for the next day. So that makes sense. And that's kind of a way that I have of dealing with sort of recurring tasks, right? Is as I complete a task, I schedule, I, you know, I, I just change the date. So that makes recurring tasks actually pretty easy to deal with. And usually it's at the time when you complete it that you're ready to schedule the next one anyway. So you just schedule it a month out. So a lot of people seem to be looking for something that's more automated. I don't know that it's really necessary. But here's what I really want to show you. So I got in this morning and I said I need to finish updating my content for the BQE software blog. So I have my BQE software tag. And I just use a tag called blog post ideas. And what that means is these are blog posts that I'm kind of working on. They're works in progress, right? So I had done a, a post for uh, today, actually, as of the time I'm recording this, that's coming out on accounting for law terms retainers. So what I can do is I can open this up and it brings it up onto my screen. Now I do this for every blog post that I write. I have kind of a profile on every blog post. Makes it easy to search. Yes, I can search online. I can search, I can use the blog search tool, but it's helpful to me to have this right here in Ever, Evernote, especially since I kind of live here, because this way if somebody emails me and says, hey Seth, do you have anything on law firms? I can do an Evernote search for law firms and use the blog, once it become, goes from an idea to a post, then I tag it blog post profiles. So I can, do a search on law firms using the blog post profiles tag and get everything I've ever done on law firms in one sort of search queue. So that's really helpful. Meanwhile, look what I did here. Because this is a series that I'm doing, I made sure that I linked the profile from the previous post right here. And notice what it, it does. Evernote has the link. It's based on the actual title of the note. And I'm going to right click this and choose open in a new window. It almost works just like as if I was in a browser tab, right? And I click that and what it does is on my other screen, it opened it up and it's right here in a new window. So now when I went to put the blog in the BQE software blog, I was able to quickly grab the link because I've documented the blog URL here and copy and paste it in and link back to from one post to the other. So especially when I'm doing a series like this and I'm trying to link back and forth, it's incredibly helpful. And then of course I have all the other stuff. I had written a LinkedIn post on this. I'm going to do that here as well on this post. I haven't done it yet. Um, over here I've got kind of some of the key phrases that I'm trying to write for in terms of SEO, you know, search engine optimization. And here's the featured image that I used in the post. Post. And for that matter, if there are any other images in the post, you know, they'd all go here. So if I ever need them for any other reason, if, if the blog ever crashes and we lose images, I've got a backup of everything I've ever published online right here in Evernote. And that also gives me a sense of comfort to know that I can do that. And there have been blogs I've written for in the past 
where the content was eventually taken down because I stopped writing for them. And so if I wanted to, I could go back, find that old content, maybe update it, repurpose it a little bit, and post it in a current blog. So again, that's another advantage and reason for uh, archiving this stuff in Evernote. So that, my friends, is something I felt that would be useful and beneficial for you. As always, if you want help figuring out how to use this in your own business, please go over to schoolofanswers.com and sign up for a one-hour session with me, and I can help you get started or actually polish up whatever it is you might already be doing in Evernote, if not getting started. I can help you start using Evernote to a great end to be more productive, to manage things more effectively, more efficiently, and ultimately we know what that means. Increased efficiency equals increased profits and also more time to get things done and have more fun. As always, I hope you learned something and had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.